Good morning, everybody. It's Javier, and I'm very excited to be with you here this morning to share with you news about our one of our most productive campaigns that we run here at FFS for members of my team. And I'm happy to report that we're going to be doing it again here this year as well. Uh, the season technically starts in about a month, even though one of the things that happened last year, well, before I get into it, I don't want to go ahead and steal my own thunder. Let's go ahead and kick this off. We're talking about the Baker to Vegas 2023 fundraising barbecue campaign. And so what we're going to do here today is just get you up to speed on a couple of things, but also how to leverage the power of this if you happen to be in a place where teams run the Baker to Vegas. Remember, it's all about marketing. It's all about getting yourself in the door, and it's all about marketing your trust, getting them to like you, to trust you, because that's who we, of course, do business with as well. And this is a campaign that's been going on for a very long time. But before I do that, I do want to do a little bit of our first things first, just to kind of get some uh, housekeeping orders out of the way. Uh, I want to give an update to those that are running the campaign with us or are interested in running our educators preset appointments. And what this basically does is something we've been doing for years now is where we purchase some leads. We purchase leads from a company that I can't share anymore. I used to be able to do it. So don't ask me. I'm just going to tell you, I can't, I can't share it with you. I actually went ahead and met with the owner in person of the company yesterday. And we finally have reached an agreement in regards to what we're going to do moving forward, starting this fall semester, which for us here in Southern California has technically already begun. And so for those of you that are already in uh, or part of this for to a certain degree, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those that are not, well, what we do is we uh, purchase preset appointments, but only with educators. This campaign and this company only deals with educators. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and revamp it. And the way or the reason that we're revamping it is because we want to see more people making more money instead of a lot of more people making social money. This is a campaign that has helped a lot of our teammates walk the stage and collect all kinds of awards for points and money, which is ultimately, for me at least, the categories that I care about the most. Uh, all the other stuff is just stuff for the walls. And to be honest with you, I've got you know truckloads full of awards and this and that just gather dust. I like the ones that say my team is making money. And so it's very important for you to understand that due to a lot of different moving parts in this, this is only open for those that are already working with educators. This is not something we take you from zero to hero, which you're going to hear me say with the Baker to Vegas uh, as well. Now, any idea you see me doing or, or any of my members or my team doing, implement them. I have but but do it on your own. I, I cannot coach people. I can't, I can't do that, especially when it comes across hierarchy lines. I don't like issues with other EFCs. I don't like issues with home office in regards to, you know, what, what are we doing with other hierarchies? I, I don't deal with it. So please don't ask because I'm not going to do it. Uh, and so that's just the way it is. And so the way it's going to work is we're going to make up a group or what we call a cadre of very specialized. The first group only has 10 people Then we're moving into 20 and then we're going to open it up actually across the board in phase three. Right now, we're only getting phase one going, which is something that it's not just about who wants leads or who wants to buy leads. It's not about that. It's about our entire certification process you have to go through. And for us here in California, the, the basics, of course, revolve around you uh, doing calculations for CalSTRS, CalPERS, helping their members log into their website so that we lay a nice, solid and thick foundation of trust. And so that they can see that you know what the hell you're talking about. You don't just get these appointments and try to whip out a presentation about how great the IUL is. That's not what this is intended to do. It's a bunch of people that are going to apply. We're looking right now. We have spots for four more. Six are already taken, but it comes with a lot. And I do mean a lot of conditions. So if you're already working with this company, with this individual who you know who you are and who this person and company is, because I will not be mentioning their name anymore, then you just keep working with them. Nothing changes. But what we are doing is he's going to be stepping up the marketing on his side and feeding this group of people that I'm going to be primarily responsible for, including the financial side of the house, because I'm going to co-sign for everybody. Then we're going to get a lot more appointments. It's a great system. The number one complaint I get is that I just need more appointments. And it's true because he's in the business of selling the appointments. He doesn't care to how many people it goes to as long as they pay him. But we do because we want to keep as many to within our, our team to make sure we're able to do that. Uh, also, it's going to be interested in a different sense that we also uh, allow for out-of-state appointments, if you would. So we just came across one in Texas. Uh, Mr. Uh, George Munoz handled that one, and he's just getting his non-resident license in Texas and doing that. So like I said, phase one, so when you hear me say, well, maybe phase three, 
That's what I'm talking about, that if you don't come into phase, if you're not already part of this to begin with, you're not phase one, right out of the gate. Uh, then there's phase two. And phase three is really the one where we open it up to anybody once we work out all the kinks that are going to be uh, coming our way with the new technology we have to implement and a bunch of other stuff. So like I said, our people have walked the stage for years based on this concept. And I'm very happy to say that it def definitely does work, but there are issues to be ironed out. And so if you are interested in that, remember, please don't ever call me or text me about this, because if you are selected for it, depending on what phase, teams, and so on, that you're going to go ahead and get a notification from us. Otherwise, if you don't hear from us, is that it's not your turn yet. Uh, this is the flow code. Just simply scan this with your phone. And please, as always, and I know it sounds kind of anal when I say this, don't call me during the week asking me about stuff like this. This is it right here today, Saturday. And other than that, I don't want anything to do with anybody, you know, as it relates to this. Those that are invited are going to get invited to a private webinar. We're going to go over the ground rules. And again, if you don't like them, you just simply say, I'm going to just stay the way I am working with this company on my own. Bless your heart. We're glad that you do that. But if you're going to be part of this very specialized team, that the whole goal is going to be to increase the number of uh, you know appointments you receive, then obviously you're going to have to follow the rules or you get booted out. Uh, there's no other way around that. Uh, I also, forgive me for having this right here. It looks a little wrong. Um, I also want to thank, and let me just go ahead and get this rid of this because I don't like the way it looks. I just want to thank everybody. You know, last week I was argu not arguing, but I was arguing against a certain degree with the home office about how we had the special. They had a $125 special for the Ignite, which is the convention for FFS in 2023, but they only did it for one day. So I was arguing with them that they should have done it for longer so we can have enough time to let our people know, especially for me, my Saturday webinars is what I really wanted to give everybody the chance. And so anyways, to make a long story longer, I ended up looking like a fool uh, because of the simple fact that I thought, man, everybody's going to just run. I even offered to give a free hotel room to anybody that did this because remember, whether you're part of my hierarchy or not, I just want FFS to win. I think we all win together. And I must tell you, I must tell you and be very honest with you, I was very disappointed with a few people. Not a lot, because I know how the masses think. The masses think, well, hell, I don't even know if I'm going to be in FFS next year. Or hell, I don't even know if I'm going to want to go next year. I don't even know if I'm going to have to you know, run an errand on that particular weekend or whatever the case may be. I get that. That's just the masses. But there are some people that I thought were a lot more up to speed as it relates to the level of commitment and vision. And I would lie to you if I did not tell you that, number one, I ended up looking like a freaking idiot. And number two, uh, it was very disappointing to see some of the people that I was kind of secretly putting very high stock in hopes in let me down. And so anyways, we ended up with the whopping one person from my team coming on board during the entire week for the special. The other 14 people here had already registered. And that's what I'm talking about. Winners do what winners do. That's just the way it is. How, you know, everybody here registered that very weekend when we were still leaving the convention from, well, you see them the inside here. So I commend them for that. Everybody else work on your level of belief by the simple fact that there's nothing you're going to tell me that's going to make sense. If you intend to work, uh, to make this work and scale it up and generate the income, even if you're dead broke right now, one of the most important things to do is to declare to yourself that, hey, all I know is that I will be here next year. That's pretty powerful because I guarantee you that by next year, some people will not be here. And so again, uh, don't waste your time and giving yourself false hope. So I just want to commend everybody that had already registered and the one person that came on during the last seven days. The special is over. Now it's back up to whatever the hell it was, and it only goes up from there. So I don't really understand. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it make more sense to pay for it while it's cheaper and then get a free hotel room instead of paying when registration is double? And then having to pay $200 a night because by the time they screw you over with the taxes and the resort fees and the uh, rates makes no damn sense to me. But like I said, I would be lying to you if I did not tell you that I was by name and I'm not going to name the people, but I wasn't disappointed by most. I, I just know how nature works, but there was a few people that I thought were a little more committed. But at least, like I said, I look at my list when I have people that want to come and play with us and I I don't mess around with people who don't know what the hell they, uh, they, they want. I uh, don't know if they're even going to be here next year. Don't know if they were going to, they don't know if it's worth the damn 125. They don't know if they want a free hotel room. You know, it's all right. You choose, but guess what? I get to choose too. And so anyways, enough of that. Thank you for all of you that did register. You're not doing me a favor, by the way. I, I couldn't care less. If nobody showed up, I'll be there. And that's really all that matters in my life. And all that matters in your life is how well or how unwell you are doing. And so that's what I'm trying to do to help you out. 
Also, I got a text from Brandon. Uh, I'm sorry, from George. I don't know what the hell he told me, but it was last minute, so I don't even read it. Uh, this Saturday, uh, Monday, as always, George has his uh, webinar, webchatgm.com. And I forget, what, I, I didn't even read it, George. So if you want to say what it is, I have no clue. You send it way too soon, uh, close to the call. Yeah, I got, I, I, I yeah. just sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Saturday morning. So, uh, Kathy, are you on the call? Is Kathy on the call? She's the yeah, one that's actually. Yeah. Okay, so Kathy's going to be doing the training on, on uh, Monday. So, Kathy, can you just briefly say what uh, the training is going to be about on Monday? Yes, can you hear me okay? Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, good morning. Um, so, just so that let you guys know, I do personal coaching and personal development, and I'm offering this training free to the team on Monday. And it's going to be uh, the topic going to be mastering your personality to design a new reality to help you with your current business with all the aspects of your life perfect okay well you have it at three and i think that one of the most important elements in business is really truly to work on your mindset that's what kills people that's what keeps people that are giants within little midgets when it comes to the business world to life to everything that life offers because they continue to, unfortunately, enslave themselves in their minds and are at the mercy of a mindset that's not truly you. Discover who you are. There's a process to it. And once I was able to do that, it changed my life literally forever. And I'm not saying that I'm all that. I'm just simply saying that if there was one claim to fame for me, it has nothing to do with money as much as it has with living life on one's terms. That's all I'm saying. Now I can focus on what I always love, which is helping people get from where they are to where they deserve to be. And for those that have seen my Facebook uh, main image, if you would, on my personal page, it's been there since whatever the hell I joined Facebook. And I get a lot of ignorant people that send me, you know, ugly comments say, hey, that's not right. What people, I have never changed my header, if you would, on my uh, Facebook page since the day, you know, I opened up my Facebook account. Never. And some people hate it. Some people don't, most people don't even know it. So that's fine, but it's not for them, it's for me. And it just simply says, it's a very simple a, a sentence. It says, man was born free, yet everywhere he is in chains. And that's the truth, the God-given truth. And so anyways, I would encourage you to definitely get on the web chat, gm.com and do that. I got an email, I'm sorry, text message for somebody saying that the flow code that you see on the screen is not working. Brings me up to something very important. It was, it's not that it wasn't working. I think it's just me, Javier. For some okay. reason, I can't scan no, no. yours. That's, no, that's fine. That's fine. But, but here's what I'm getting at. It's very important to, to know one thing. The whole essence of us working as a team is to empower each other. Does that make sense? And so I'll give you an example. I'm not saying because of you, Reggie. I'm just saying, in, in, oh, hell, I will use you as an example. Uh, you know what? Like this past week, Reggie needed a link to the, whatever it was. But the point that I'm making is always get in the habit of before calling me, call your upline. And start with your upline because the main reason for that is we don't want to cheat our upline out of something they might run across in the future, and then they can go ahead and fix themselves. Or B, after you speak with me, the right thing to do is to make sure you go back to your upline and say, hey, just heads up, I didn't have the link to the flip chart. Do you have it? If not, here it is. Or whatever. The point of what I'm saying is that get in the habit of always helping and empowering other people in your hierarchy, if nothing else in your hierarchy, but I am telling you right now, this is something that we all want to make sure we do. Don't just simply be in the habit of, oh, I, I need this, let me get this, I got it, I'm done, let me apply it. Look around you, who can, who would need to have this information or know this information? And what I told Reggie, what I told actually three people this week, go to your browser, hit create a folder, call it FFS. Within that folder, you can create subfolders, or if, if nothing else, just one favorites tab, and just go ahead and call one of them flip charts and save all your flip charts, uh, save all your whatever, or just throw everything into one. What I'm saying is get in the habit of doing that. If you use Safari, if you use Chrome and you do that and one of your devices goes down, guess what? They are transferred automatically to all your other devices. That's what I do. When my phone has taken a dump in the past, I go to my iPad, it's there. I just log in from another device, it brings them up there. So make sure you get in the habit. And again, I'm not saying this for, for you uh, specifically, but I just wanted to, again, emphasize what I'm referring to about empowering each other and not cheating each other out of any information that might need. So anyways, let's go back to this. So this is the uh, this is going to take you to a form, a Google form. Just finish it, uh, complete the information, and, and that's it. 
I'm not sending in the other emails. I had one person a little upset. How come I didn't notify this person? And I'm like, well, because you forgot to pay me to be your personal secretary. Uh, were you on the webinar? No. Did you watch the recording of the webinar? No. Okay, then how is that my problem? I mean, it's not that difficult to go hit the subscribe button, get an email, a notification for face, uh, from uh, YouTube that there's a new video. And if you really want to watch it, you'll watch it. And if you really don't want to watch it, you won't. I mean, I have never, ever, ever called anybody, bugged anybody. Where are you? How come you went out of the way? Never. I, I, I've got three children and two grandchildren to do that with. I don't need any more. And so we're all big boys and big girls, and we should act accordingly as well. So like I said, thank you to all the, uh, but this, this, did that, George, Kathy, I appreciate that. But now what I want to do is show you the new for 2023 platform. This is the template that we're going to be running as it relates to the Baker to Vegas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on share sound, which anybody that plays video over Zoom, make sure you click on the shared sound on the share tab. Otherwise, it sounds very bad. And so let me just go ahead and do this so you can kind of see it. And I want to make sure that the I'm going to stop this because I want to make sure that the uh, share sound is on. It is. And here's what I want to show you. This is very simple, but very, very important when it comes to training. So here we go. Welcome to the Baker to Vegas 2023 fundraising barbecues campaign overview. They say that money isn't everything, but it ranks up there with oxygen, especially as it relates to the financial responsibilities that come with running a successful Baker to Vegas race. Every year, teams have to fall out of the race for the simple fact that they lack the financial backing needed to run a successful race. Hello, my name is Javier Rodriguez and I'm a retired LAPD senior lead officer out of Wilshire Division and I love helping teams raise the much needed funds that they need to run the Baker to Vegas race. We are official silver sponsors with Labrack, organizer of the Baker to Vegas relay race. We are present at every Baker to Vegas team captains meeting both in person and virtual. Now, if you've ever been to the live team captains meetings at the police academy, then you've seen our people, you've seen our booth and you know exactly who we are. We sponsor fundraising barbecues for Baker to Vegas running teams by donating everything that they need. The plates typically have two hot dogs, chips, and a drink, and we even donate a tablet that we raffle off at the barbecue to raise even more funds. We then donate 100% of the proceeds from the barbecue to the hosting Baker to Vegas team. We have sponsored hundreds upon hundreds of these fundraising events, which have all been a true success. Over the years, we have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for Baker to Vegas running teams and can do the exact same thing for you and your team. All we require in return for sponsoring a fundraising barbecue are 10 minutes to present our How to Bulletproof Your Financial Future presentation during a roll call or briefing. During these presentations, we emphasize the importance of saving for retirement and how one day every single police officer will leave the department. The only question is, are they really prepared for the retirement that lies ahead? Also, for a limited time, we're giving away five trips for four days and three nights in Las Vegas on a resort on the Strip that is valid during the Baker to Vegas relay race in case any of your teammates need help with lodging during the race. Now this is based on availability and you must pay the room taxes as well as any resort fees that apply to any particular resort. Fundraising dates are extremely limited so please get back with the person who directed you to this presentation and let us help you make this coming 2023 Baker Vegas race the most successful race of your entire team's history. Thank you. And that's it. And that's the generic presentation. And generic simply means, as you see, it ends with nothing at the end other than go back to the person that invited you. I have my own personal one that ends with my name, my phone number, flow codes to scan, everything. I don't take a chance. And so this one that I'm showing you right now is... Welcome uh, to the uh, Baker... Th this one that I'm showing you right now is YouTube-based. So... My recommendation, take a picture or, or scan this and bookmark the link on your phone, your browser, if you would. Don't call me for this. Again, do not call me for anything that I'm covering here on a Saturday for whatever reason, because that's your responsibility, not mine. So go ahead and scan this and uh, it'll take you to the YouTube uh, where, link where it's at. Save it as a, as a favorite, uh, whatever you want to bookmark it, whatever you want to call it, and you have it. And then you just simply go ahead and use that when you need to send it to somebody but what I recommend you also do is that you download the actual video file onto your device, your phone, your tablet. So that way, it's much easier to either just message somebody. You can literally text it. And when you text it to somebody, it's pretty cool because it pops up with the preview, <clears throat> number one. 
And number two, it works just simply a lot better if you're going to do social media marketing, which is going to be my marketing tip of the week. If you can see uh, see my Facebook uh, page right here, here's what I was able to do this past week. On the right-hand side, I was able to message a bunch of police stations and police departments based on the size. And I mean, I don't care where the hell you live. If you live in Florida, if you are in New York, you can do this over here. And if you don't have no clue what the hell you're doing, once they respond, put them in contact with somebody and split the costs, split the leads, split the, the cases, if you would. There's no excuse. You know, we are way, way, way too easy on ourselves. Somebody was asking me this week, you know, what do you, why do you think that we are not where we should be? And I told him, I'll tell you, I don't think, I don't have to guess. I'll tell you why. Every single body that's listening to me right now, that's not making the amount of money they want to make, it's not because they lack training. They don't lack a license. They don't lack support. They lack will. And that's until you realize that it starts and it ends with you, not a damn thing's going to change. It starts and it ends with you. You mean to tell me you don't have access to this thing called the internet? Well, guess what? Thank God Al Gore invented it when he did, because by now we all have access to it. Everybody. You mean to tell me you don't have access to, to download Facebook because it's so expensive? Well, guess what? It's free. And you can literally go in there. And as you can see, in about 30 minutes, maybe, I was able to message LAPD West Traffic, South, uh, Northeast, LAPD West LA, LAPD Central, uh, all these different stations. Now, I'm not saying that they've all called me back and gave me dates, but it simply demonstrates the effort that you do have the will, that you're not like everybody else, that you're not afraid to take ownership of your business and say, okay, maybe if I got off my butt this week a little more, I could achieve a little bit more, and then I can make a little bit more. That's how simple the formula is. Now, I'm in California, so that's what I just gravitated to. But no matter where you go, I'll show you this right now. Now, here's as you can see the actual YouTube, the way it's lay, it's going to open up on that Q, uh, flow code I gave you. The domain or the link at the top is something you copy, or you just simply go here to the little heart for some of them. It's called the favorite. Others on Google Chrome, it's a little star. Save it there. If you notice at the top of my browser, you see a bunch of stuff that I have. I have primary favorites, online marketing, EXP, uh, Realty on top of that. That's another folder, Radiant Mortgage Bank, which is where I keep all my radium. Every time somebody calls me about the mortgage side of the house, and I, for whatever reason, decide to help them, I, I just do what the hell they should do. Go to the browser, click on the folder, and everything is there. Online purchases, my local leads, my now sites. I have my power, which is the solar side of the house. I have just everything under power. All the flip charts that I possibly get my hands on are in one single tab, home, and lo and behold, FFS. It's just simply not that difficult when it means enough to you. Don't, don't, don't believe your own crap. It just doesn't mean enough to you if it's not motivating you enough to do something. Just call it what it is. And when you call it what it is, magic happens. Now, here's a second uh, flow code that I'm going to give you. Now, this one will take you to the actual file, the video file. This will download it onto Dropbox or better yet, download it on to your device, to your phone. And so I uh, think, who was it? Somebody was just telling me, that, oh, well, I think it was Reggie. He was talking to me that he was talking to a cop on the fly this past week. I think it was this week, he said. So anyways, what I'm saying is that what I would do at that point, because remember, when you talk to somebody, what would what would you do need to do to consider it a successful interaction? You're talking to a cop and you want to eventually get to a Bacon of Vegas barbecue, right? What would be the best thing to do? Anybody? What could you tell me that would make it a successful interaction? This is impromptu, on the fly. Reggie just walked up to him um, casually. He's got literally three minutes to wrap it up. What can he do? What, what would make me want to say, damn, that, that, was, that was a good interaction? Anybody? Well, Javier, I just I just asked him. We were talking about a situation. Why yeah, but what's the end result, right, 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 Richie? How do we rate it, whether it was good or bad? How do we rate it? We're only one uh, way. Uh, because I got the information that I was That's it. For. You got the information of who the team captain is. Does that make right. sense? Yes. So when somebody tells me, yeah, the cop was really cool, and I bought him a donut, and I got him a refill of his coffee, I mean, like, you know, I mean, <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with what we're trying to do? That has nothing to do. So what are you going to do? Go chase a police car until you find him again? No. And so you got the contact information of the team captain. Now, if somebody tells, if the cop says, you know, I don't even know who the team captain is this year because everybody promoted, transferred, well, what would be the second best thing to do? 
Anybody? Come on, spit it out. The phone number of the, uh, of the wasp commander. Okay, and how do you do that? I ask mean, them. ask them. And for a lot of people, we're being very honest, it could be a little intimidating sometimes, right? Because if I'm a cop, I'd be like, I ain't giving you my own. Who the hell you are? I'm gonna give you my personal. So, uh, so what I'm getting at is that what I can do is simply say, Hey, look, listen, Officer Foster, what I would like to do, if you could do me a huge favor, let me send you over this quick video about our fundraising event. And it also lists a lot of the police departments around here that we have worked with. Can you do me a favor and just at some point forward it to the team captain when you get back to the station? 99.9% .9 of the time, they're going to say what? Yes. Now, they don't know how the hell you're going to get it to them. So I break out my phone. I go into my, I have an actual folder that's called Baker to Vegas. I, and that's where I keep my letters, flyers, videos. Not like people who all of a sudden need something and they're trying to remember what was the link that Saturday that, that was that Javier provided. No. You can create an album within your actual, uh, I don't care if you have Droid or iPhone, and I just simply go ahead and say, okay, it's literally two minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and text it to you right now and text it to them. And you got their number. That's all it is. It's very, very simple. So if you do get a hold of a team captain, say, hey, look, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to text you the actual video right now, and you got their information to follow up with. I mean, it's that simple. So the a QR code or a flow code that you see here will actually take you to this, which is the Dropbox. Now, if you're on a device like a phone, this is what it'll look like. Just go ahead and hit download, export for drop, uh, export. And once you do that, it lives on your device. I mean, it's very, very simple, guys. We got to make sure that, again, we're working uh, as smart as we possibly can. So the marketing idea of the week for you, and this works, by the way, wherever you are in the United States, is to simply go ahead and go to Facebook. And in the search bar, just search for police. And then when you'll see a police, you'll see three main categories. You'll see posts, you'll see pages, and you'll see groups. Go to pages or any of them, but go to pages with what you want because you don't care about the post. Go to pages. And when you do that, if you look here on this one, I went ahead and typed in police. It uses geolocation, meaning it's going to start by showing you stuff around where you are. So I'm not going to get a lot of stuff from Florida. I don't see a whole lot of stuff from Georgia. I don't see a lot of stuff from New York or Texas because I don't care. I don't care. I'm here. And so what that simply means is that you just go to the search bar, hit police. I put pages and there's a company called Police One. Eh, don't care about that. Arcadia Police Officers Association. Now that's who you want because that's also the union. Ontario Police Officers Association, El Monte, and so on, and so on, and so on. Here's just a few. I have people that are wanting to work the Bicca to Vegas who have been, you know, trying to muster up the courage to approach the first police station for five years. And so what I'm getting at, I'm not telling you not to do that. But what I'm saying is that if you're going to do, I like to use a multi-pronged system where I email, I text everybody here, or I send them a message, and I simply say, please forward to your team captain, uh, your Baker Vegas, I just call it B2V, because that's they know what it is. Please forward to your B2V team captain. And then I just send them the video. Whether it be YouTube, whether it be the file, it doesn't matter. You just simply do that. And look at all these departments. Now, would I still go in person to my local state? Of course, because I would let them know that, look, listen, I already messaged your union, but I wanted to make sure that I guess I spoke to the actual team captain as well. And so the point of it is, is that look at all this. Just look at this. From San Diego, Pasadena, Monterey, Pollock, Pomona, Fullerton. Because remember one thing. We have this happen. Uh, every year it happens. Yeah. Somebody will get butthurt and say, wait, I already messaged this guy at this police department. I'm waiting for him to call back. And now so-and-so says that they have a barbecue date. Tough luck. We don't call dibs on police departments any more than we call dibs on schools. Whoever gets the result first gets it. Now, do another one, and so on and so on. And when you see how many there are just around here, and look, one of the results is this page called Police Fundraiser, which is me. So George Munoz likes it. 87 other people like it. So the point that I'm making is that this is a great way for you to market because that's what we're here to do. We market, and market means you take action. It doesn't mean you learn. So just because you think you were here at this webinar today, and you did your part for the week, you're very wrong. Being here, uh, this laptop is present, yet it's not going to do a damn thing when it comes to production or recruiting this week. 
It's about applying what it is we are learning. And so you have the new videos, you have that. Uh, let me just go back over here to one last thing I want to look, look at this. I mean, just the results are simply incredible, incredible. Somebody asked me, I did a, a, a strategy session with somebody this week, and they asked me, well, what's the, at the end of the day, what's the common denominator? And my answer was, you're not doing anything. And let me correct myself. You're not doing anything that matters. That was the end of the result. I'm having four more sessions this week, and they usually end like that. You're not doing anything. Let me give you an example. If you want to lose weight, I'll give you an example. If you want to lose weight, there's a there's a saying that says, and I don't mean to insult anybody because I'll be the first fat eater, you know, to, to call myself fat, but there's not a fat person on this earth that doesn't know what they need to do to lose weight. Does that make sense? And I mean, no disrespect to anybody. Okay, I'm the first one to throw myself on that. But what I'm saying is, if you were my coach, dietitian, whatever you want to call it, and I told you, I really, 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 really want to lose weight, what, what's probably one of the best advice, pieces of advice you can give me? Anybody. Anybody. And I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about any of you. So don't get mad at me. Anybody. Diet and exercise. That's simple. Okay. okay, that's one. It's diet and exercise. Okay, what else? Okay. And, and, and if we wanted to zero in, the first thing you always want to do is assess. Let's assess where you are, where you're at. To begin with. And that's where it starts to hurt. So what's the best way to assess before I go work out like a fool? What would be the best way? Because have you ever been to the gym? You go to the gym. I went to the gym, believe it or not, twice this past week. And uh, there was a lot of people, man, that were putting those poor Stairmasters to work. So they were, you know, were going to bust them. And, you know, and I was on the treadmill myself. And I was looking at it. I was like, damn, I would hate to be a damn treadmill. But, but, but what's one of, the, one of the most components when it comes to losing weight? That if we were talking diet, what's the best thing to do? Anybody? Javier, you know, when I joined the, you know, everybody told me you want to lose weight, join the club or join a, you know, a spa. I joined a spa and I never lost any weight. I don't get yes. it. Yep. Yep. I never went, but I joined. They yep. told me to join, so I joined. And it doesn't work that way. The key thing is to assess. So if I was your dietitian, your coach, or whatever, I would say start by writing down everything you're eating for one whole week. And usually most people, after two days, they stop doing it. You know why? Anybody know why? Because they realize what the real problem is, which is intake. What I'm saying is, and I don't mean to disrespect anybody, I'm the first fatty, just so you guys know, uh, that, 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 will, that can be picked on, and that's fine. What I'm saying is that when I do my, the one common denominator, when I do my strategy sessions, I'll give you an example. I, was, I, was just, I, I don't want to bother you with it, but I'll just show you the form. It's a very thorough form, man. If, I don't, I'm not offering myself anymore. I don't like to do it. It takes too much damn time. And guess what? At the end of the day, people don't do a damn thing with it anyways. But the point is that it very clearly, very, very, very clearly, shows you that when I tell them, well, let me ask you an example. Show me your activity log for Friday. Oh, you mean my journal? No, I didn't see your journal. Your activity log for FFS. Let's see your activity log. Because guess what? We have the dog that needs to be this, and we got to go get our hair done. I got to go dye my hair, and I got to go to the gym, and I got to go. I, I get all that. I get all that. But would you do half of that if you had a regular nine-to-five job that you claim you hate? Well, no. Okay, well, then that's part of the problem there. When we look at it in regards to what it is you're doing on a daily, daily basis, you're kind of getting out what you're putting in, which is not a lot. I mean, can you throw, I, I took this past week, it took, I probably spent 12 hours just on the videos that you saw. Very cheesy, very simple videos. Uh, but that included revamping the flip chart as well, which I'll show you guys right now. And I'll give you the link for it as well. It's a brand new for 2023. Uh, that included all these messages to all of these companies right here. Uh, that included tiny five-minute calls with people like Reggie about the church campaign or people. We had three people with the uh, Baker to Vegas that needed a push because they were talking to people already and on and on and on. You've got to look at, write it down. And you're going to be amazed how so many times we're doing stuff that if we had a regular nine-to-five job, we would not dare be doing that because our boss would expect us to be working. And so anyways, that's a whole talk for a different day. But I just wanted to show you how there's so much to do if we can just build up the will to do it. So what you see here is the new uh, flip chart. This is the 2023 flip chart. And it's basically just like the video. It's, it's, a, it's a different format. This you use on, uh, on your phone. Now, you don't want to send it to them necessarily. I'll send them the video where I'm talking. And it talks about me retired the whole nine yards. Before This is for you when you're standing in front of them to leverage.
And so what I'm going to do is open it up real quick, and then hopefully it opens up with it, and it did not. So let me go ahead, and I want you to see it. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's the same as before, updated pictures, just to make it look a little prettier. Oh, do, do, do. Here we go. And so here we go. Hopefully, okay, there it is. And so there it is, very simple. It's basically the information that you saw earlier as well. And so let me go. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, so it flips over. That's what it's called, well, a flip chart. And everything that I told you, you can spend as much time, which I don't recommend you spend too much. But it's what you see there. It's got pictures, the barbecues. It's got pictures of the roll calls. It's got literally all the information you need to do this yourself. Very, very simple. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the flow code so that I can go ahead and... You can download it yourself. Don't call me. Please don't call me. Please don't call me because the first question I'm going to ask you is, what did your upline say? Well, I didn't call him. I thought I'd call you. Why did you call me instead of them? Because it's probably one step less, less work, less time on your part. Don't, 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 don't be that person. Uh, go ahead and do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, somebody unmute themselves. Hold on. Guys, don't unmute yourself, please, unless you're going to ask a question. Then by all means, ask, ask all you want or inter interrupt me. As we go, I don't. I don't want to take much more time. So, anyways, uh, like I said, so this is the flip chart. Let me see. We can't see it, Javier. Oh shoot! Okay, hold on. Well, uh, look, look, look. let me go back. Okay, the next. Let me go. Okay, you see that? Now, did you guys see the other flip chart that was flipping? I think you saw that one, right? No. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. No, I saw. No. Yes, we yes, saw it. I saw, I saw it. the flip chart. All right, all right. So you guys need to upgrade your computer systems or something. But um, okay, so we saw, we saw it. I don't want to take much of the uh, more time. But here is the the flow code for the flip chart itself. Save it, bookmark it, favorites, and anything you ever get from me. Make sure that your teams go ahead and uh, you know I have another webinar coming up in in a, in a little bit, and I was very disappointed with a lot of key people yesterday. Also, I mean it was a bad day with disappointments because I called a few of the new members of the team, and I was shocked when. Their number one complaint was, we don't get any support. I just wish I knew what was going on. And I'm like, how the hell did that happen? And lo and behold, it turns out they were never even told about the webinars. They were never even told about the websites. They were never even told about the conference calls. They were never told. I mean, and I'm like, man, that's a felony in my book because that's how we end up with a bad reputation by bringing people in and not bring them. So what I'm saying, share this information with your team and whether or not they use it, who cares? That's up to them, but at least it's on you that you did your part as well. So this is the flip chart presentation where you can download it. And what I'm going to do is turn it over to questions that anybody might have about anything before we wrap it up. I told you it wasn't going to be too, too long. So let's go ahead and do it now. Questions from anybody? Um, Javier, a couple of things. I just want to clarify. As far as those preset appointments are concerned, if we're already doing it, then we don't do anything with you. I mean, I'm just a little confused. Okay, great question. Okay, great question. The way The answer to that is this. If you continue to work the way you've been working, nothing changes. It's fine, but you're not going to be part of this inner team. Part of the inner team is that we are going to be getting a higher rate of appointments, more, more appointments in our funnel. We have our own funnel. And the difference for everybody is that with this funnel, the reason we're getting a lot more appointments is because I'm going to co-sign for every single appointment. Unfortunately, there are some people that are running around not paying their bills, and it kind of screws it up for everybody. And so I'm co-signing, guaranteeing this individual that every invoice will be paid as part of my inner uh, funnel. And part of that funnel means that we are he's going to cut off other people, not from the people that he's working from within us, but in other places that he has gotten low results. They're all going to be redirected because with us, we're going to be receiving the basically the training that you guys already know, but we're going to refine it a little bit more. So you can't be in both because to answer your question, Kathy, we're going to be working off a master calendar that's going to feed into sub calendars and the sub calendars are going to be working on a, a round robin basis where they're going to be coming in a lot more and just making them available right now if you cannot take appointments you just block off your calendar and the appointment no longer goes to you but there's no control over who it's going to get it from all the people he deals with does that make sense whereas here if somebody can't take the appointment it'll it's guaranteed to stay within this group of people and so, therefore, more come in, more stay within the uh, team. Otherwise, you can just stay the way you are. And, and, and definitely fill out the form, Kathy, just so that at least you know what you're saying yes or what you're saying no to. All right? 
Great, thank you. And then also, could you just put up the uh, George's, uh, I've been telling him to put it in the chat, his uh, web chat address, because everyone's asking me for it. All right, hold on, please, one second. You got it? Do you have it, uh, Javier, or you want me to put it up? Which one, this? Yeah, that's it. There you yeah, go. That's all. Guys, and whoever, whoever's on the webinar, get in the habit of taking pictures if you have to as, pe as stuff pops up. It's a flowing presentation. Uh, I put this up twice already. So take a quick picture of it. Uh, and again, just bookmark it, guys. We've given it to you a bunch of times. Got to get in the habit of uh, reducing the, uh, the rate of redundancy as it relates to everything we do. Uh, it just takes time. Okay. Uh, any other questions from anybody? Questions, comments, concerns? Please ask now. Don't be the one that calls me uh, You know, as soon as the webinar is over and I ignore you. And then you get okay. mad at me. I, 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 have, I have one more thing. Um, anything. Go ahead. The, the video for the Baker to Vegas. So we download it off of your YouTube channel and then we can no, add no. more. You can do that. But the one that I showed you here, this one right here is from Dropbox, directly Dropbox. This one. This, there's two okay, different. I have, okay. I have that one. So we can actually change that, right? To add our own stuff at the end, like our information. What you need to do is you can go to Canva. You can go to, uh, what did she use? Uh, now I'm talking to uh, Anthony LeBlanc. I forgot what he used to add his info at the end. Remember, here's one question, and I'm not saying this because of you, Kathy. I'm just saying in general. One of the questions we got to ask ourselves is, what did you learn? What new skill did you learn this week that will help you grow tomorrow? And we have to get in the habit of learning something, whether it be how to edit a PDF, how to add this, how to add that, do that. Because what I do, whenever I like something, now I've gotten to the point that I can recreate it. Right, I'll just do that. But if I were you guys, I would be downloading the Dropbox file. I would be dropping it into, let's just say PowerPoint. You can you can, you can do that. You can just add a, a slide at the end that has your contact info and superimpose it over my voice and just simply do that. Or what you can do is you can go to, if you have... A Mac, you have an app already called Movie Maker, which is free. It comes with your uh, laptop. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, iMovie. But if you have a Mac, that's Movie Maker. It comes for free. It's already on your computer. Use that. It's actually no cost. You can go to Canva, edit it there. And as by when you get to the slide where, where it says, contact the person who sent you this, just change it around and superimpose it with a slide that has your contact info. Get in the habit of learning something new uh, as well. All right. That's what I did, Javier. I canvassed it and then I um, stopped it at your information and just inserted my information. You know, we did one of the classes that we did a while back that you will find somewhere in our YouTube channel is what I believe everybody should do. Thank you, Anthony, by the way. What I believe everybody should learn how to do, and, and that's Camtasia. You can go, once you understand the simplicity, and I do mean simplicity of Camtasia, if you can do PowerPoint, you can do Canva. Now, I would say stick to Canva right now because we didn't have Canva back there. But the reality is you can't bring the old stinky you from last week into this new week expecting to do good. You have to evolve. You have to evolve at every level, intellectually, spiritually. I mean, you have to because otherwise you're of no service to anybody. And so, therefore, you got to know that you got to be self-sufficient. Um, I don't have anybody to go to to say, hey, I, well, I do, but I got to pay them. I uh, go to Fiverr.com and say, hey, here's a video. Can you add a slide with my name at the end? They'll probably charge you 30 bucks. Done. Professionally done. I just learned how to do it my damn self. And I don't have to rely on them anymore like I used to in the past. Uh, any other questions from anybody about anything? Please, this is the time. Because remember, somebody's sitting here with a question they don't want to ask. Maybe you ask it and they'll be getting the answer they need. Anybody? Hey, Javier, when you you got, well, this is a, not the police, but this is the church campaign when they're when they're do donating the funds for the fundraiser uh i know that we don't you don't never normally touch the money you have somebody else you know help out with that but how do you make sure you keep in track on who's giving is that going to be part of forms great question <clears throat> great question uh reggie has a church event this weekend and so he's going to be going out there and doing really well i'm sure and so the question is whoever's taking the money needs to write down the name phone number email address and how much they donated for their purposes of accounting purposes and then of course we get a copy or i just take a picture of the list at the end or if you want to you can just bring your own clipboard and give it to the person taking the money and say hey do me a favor have them fill this out when they do that and that way you have the information and the most important info by the way is their cell phone because you can always call them back if you can't reach their chicken scratch from the uh you know from the uh 
the writing or whatever, the handwriting and stuff like that. Got it. Thank you. Hi, Javier. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much for everything that you do. I just had a quick question. In the past month, I've had a couple clients come back to me and tell me, oh, you didn't structure this policy right, blah, blah, blah. You know, I could get more death if I can get more of this. And I'm like, basically finding myself spinning my wheels over, I guess, them shopping the policy after the fact. I know this is probably another whole training, but which... What's, what, what can you tell me quickly? Because I know we're at the end of the... No, that's fine. No, 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 it's not hurry. We're fine with time. But I think that what I do is I get the clients involved in every simple in every single step when I'm actually running the illustration. So I don't know if you're doing this, but I'll give you an example. So what I tell them is, look, listen, the, correct me if I'm wrong, but our main focus here is to generate as much possible tax-free income at the end, right? Yes. Okay. So we can only uh, split a dollar so many ways. Part of it has to pay for life insurance. Has, part of it has to go to cash value. So what we're going to do, what I'm selecting here, and I show them min max, what this means is let's get the least amount of life insurance so that the bulk of your money over 50% goes to work in the form of cash value because we have to pay for the life insurance. Are you okay with that concept? Because I can easily go here and swap it around and get the most life insurance. But guess what? It's going to take more of your 100 or whatever dollars. So for out of every dollar, 60, 70 cents is going to go to pay for life insurance. It kind of defeats the purpose because at that point, we might as well get a term policy. But you're telling me you want the tax-free income at the end? So the compromise is minimum uh, life insurance, maximum cash value. And I show them that. And so what I do yeah, is I always make sure that I'm wanting. So I don't just because I've seen this happen before where the client sits on the other side of your desk. You're typing away, typing away, typing away. And then you say, OK, here we go. Here's what we got. You're going to get a 200,000. Don't you know, I don't do that. That, that. I think that's kind of productive. You want to get them involved in every step. So that way, if they ever do come back and say, wait, I could have got more life insurance. I said, remember what you told me that you wanted to focus on was the growth of your money so that you can have as much tax free money at the end. And then that's usually what they say, oh, that's right. We can only split a dollar so many ways. Exactly. And so my recommendation is to get them involved as early on as the actual illustration when you're inputting the information. And I'll be honest with you, I've never, ever, ever had that issue. The only issue that comes up from time to time could be the surrender charges, which is like I've told you guys before, always when you deliver the policy, especially when it's a physical one, circle the surrender charges so that whenever somebody brings them up, we open up their policy and say, look, remember the circle that we did here? Oh, that's right. That's exactly. And that's what I do. So I would say get them involved and explain the concept as early on as min max, which is the minimum maximum, so that they can understand the principles you're following. So I had several appointments. So I remember reminded him of that, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. And basically they get amnesia um, whenever there's, I think it's just a matter of possibly not wanting to pay the premium possibly, but it, what, what you're talking about today is the B increasing. The minimum maximum. Yeah. Where, where what is that box called? Minimum. Where we put min max. Uh, right. Are you talking about national life group or are you national talking about B increase? Yeah. I, I minimum, know that minimum death benefit maximum. Cash Max, yeah. Right. That's on national life group. But if you just with any carrier, just in general, you're talking about yeah. a B increase in structure or are you talking about just that with national life? Just, well, that's with any, all the companies have that option where you want to have the, the least amount of life insurance with the bulk of the money maximum going towards the cash va uh, the cash value because you can also have it the other way around with the most life insurance. So I don't know what it's called in other places. I know with Annika, it's almost called the same thing, right, guys? I mean, or what, what do they, what is uh, it? Okay, you could do level. Okay, the level. And so the point, the point being though, that now here's the other thing I think, my, the problem might not be the IUL, it might be how much money you're putting into the plan based on what they can afford. And so that's another thing that we have to be very careful with because how do I need to know where this money is coming from? Because if you tell me, I mean, everybody wants a thousand dollar a month IUL or a five hundred dollar a month IUL. My question is always, well, where are we? Where is this money coming from? The reason that we get away with bigger amounts here with my team is because we are redirecting in many cases money that we're putting into a four hundred three b, a deferred comp, and so on. So the money's already there, even even there. If somebody says, I'm doing about 403B for 300 a month, I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to go to a $300 a month IUL. I have to explain to them, look, over there, it's tax deductible. Here, the $300 is really going to cost you more than that compared to what you're used to contributing over there. So I think that maybe you should reevaluate how you are reaching the amount of money. Because you're right. If it gets to the point where it's hurting them, it doesn't matter why they're going to complain. They're going to complain because they have to get out. And the problem with that, just so you know, we've got two people here on my team 
that have gotten booted out of natural life because they had such a high uh, cancellation rate because they'll give them the courtesy of a doubt and say, yeah, we believe that, you know, she didn't explain. So they'll waive the surrender. We see them waive it all the time. But man, you get two or three of those under your belt and the carriers will terminate you. Everything. And we have two people, good people here that have gotten terminated for that. And there's nothing I could do other than to say, you know, I told you to be careful with that. Uh, and so we got to be very, very careful with how we reach the. Now, what are you using when it comes to the dollar amount that you, you guys settle on? How how is it justified? How do you? Yeah, so I normally I normally use the dime method uh, to determine the death benefit. I'm, I know you're familiar with that. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I pretty much use, and then I just go from there. So of course I am going to try to maximize their cash value if, it's, if I'm doing a retirement account, and primarily that's what I do. I mean, I, that's all I. But, and how about? Do. But I'm saying is the, the contract, the, the premium amount. So let's just say it's an IUL, and I'm doing two hundred dollars a month. And I, do you just simply ask them and you just go with it or do you dig into how they reach? Oh, that yeah, number? I definitely dig in because I do a needs analysis first. Right. So that's the number okay. one thing I do. I want to see where all your assets are. What are your um, liabilities? And then we're going to come up with a budget of what you can afford. But I don't want a chargeback. I'm always yes. thinking an entire conversation about chargebacks. I don't want yes. those. So my goal is to try to find out what you can afford. I don't want you Got to it. do a penny more than that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. And like I said, at the end of the day, there are some, some people that are going to hit that amnesia, like you said, and there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do. But uh, it sounds to me like you're doing a great job as it relates to everything else. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? If not, I just want to oh, say thank you. Do you have a date for the Dean Catherine meeting in LA? Uh, actually, I, I'm waiting for the contract to come back from, uh, what's his name, Ruben, for, which is the uh, president of LAPRAC. So I'm waiting for him to get back. With, and then it's going to be official. What's also, because we were not, I told, I, I told we were not going to do the uh, sponsorship this year, because I just didn't think we were getting our money's worth as it relates to not being able to talk to people because it was all virtual team captains meeting. This year, they're going to do team captains meeting virtually and in person at the police academy. And the agreement this year is I get to be in front of the microphone at every single meeting, whether it's virtual or in person, not just simply from the side like we've done it before. I'm actually going to walk up to the mic and address everybody. And I get three minutes to pitch our and our card basically, and we're going to have a flow code flowing up on their screen that they're going to be able to use to complete. Uh, I'm interested in information card for the barbecues as well. So it's going to be a really good year, and we want to make sure that we do that. So I'll keep you abreast of that, Kathy. Once the contract comes back signed, that's when they can go ahead and put us on the calendar. Okay, thank you. Or we're in. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. I hope it's worth your time. And like I said, don't take anything I ever say the wrong way. Uh, but I really do challenge you to go out there and make this coming with the most productive week in the history of your business by doing things you've ever maybe haven't done before or haven't done in a while. And it's amazing the return and the results you will be able to generate in the process. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great weekend.